Still struggling with how to write a PhD proposal? This video is going to show you how to create a well-researched and highly persuasive proposal from scratch. Even if you have not written or read a proposal before, you can follow the steps provided in this video. Keep watching! The video starts with an introduction of the research proposal. The second section of the video covers the typical contents of a research proposal and how to write them. Project proposals are used to describe a project to demonstrate the feasibility of completing it. A well-written proposal can help your idea stand out as unique and innovative among other project proposals. Writing a research proposal is not an easy task. It takes time and effort to know how to write a good research proposal. Academic project proposal is an important document for higher educational institutions. This video guide will walk you through all the details, including a strategic outline and all the parts of the proposal. What is an academic proposal? The proposal usually includes information about the student's academic background, research interests, and goals. This document is typically sent to an admissions officer who will review the application and make an initial decision about whether the student should be accepted or not. What is a PhD proposal? A PhD proposal is an application or request for someone to write a dissertation or doctoral thesis. It is often submitted by a prospective graduate student to their university and can be used as an application for admission into the program. The purpose of this video is to help you understand what a PhD proposal is and why it should be written. Here we will also discuss the importance of writing one, as well as how to go about writing one. Top 7 PhD Proposal Writing Tips and Tricks The key to writing a good PhD proposal is to present your research in a way that will be appealing to the faculty member who will review it. Here are 7 tips for writing a good PhD proposal. 1. Find out what the faculty member likes and dislikes about other proposals they've seen. 2. Make sure your research is original and timely, with a topic that interests them. 3. Include your qualifications and experience. 4. Create an outline of your paper, including the introduction, body, conclusion and references. 5. Keep track of all of the sources you use in your paper so you can reference them properly. 6. Write in clear language that is easy to understand for an average audience. 7. Include any study limitations or restrictions at the beginning. Different section of a typical research proposal 1. Introduction of project proposal The project proposal is a document that outlines the goals, methodology, and timeline of a proposed project. The introduction of the project proposal is where you introduce the reader to your idea and why it will be beneficial to them. Research questions are the key to writing a successful research proposal. When you write your research questions, you should think about the purpose of your project and what you want to achieve with it. You should also think about the audience who will be reading your work and how they will react when they read it. Some simple research questions of a project proposal This is a proposal for a project that will help to better understand the consequences of global warming. Some questions that you might want to ask yourself before writing your research questions are what is the problem that I am trying to solve? Who is my target audience? What would be their reaction when they read my work? 2. State of the art of a project proposal State of the art is a term that is often used in a project proposal. It can be used to describe the current state of the project. In order to write a state-of-the-art proposal, one should first look at what is already out there and then take it further. This means that you need to know what has been done before so that you can add your own perspective and thoughts on it. 
To write a state-of-the-art proposal, one must also have an idea about what they would like to achieve with their research. This will help them write a strong introduction as well as conclusion. 3. Methodology part of a project proposal A methodology part of a project proposal is a section that outlines the steps needed to carry out the project. This is usually done in order to help other parties understand the method and consider it for future projects. As an example, if the project is from the engineering, the methodology section summarizes the information such as type of materials, characterization tools, duration of the project, organization of labor and budgets amongst others. 4. Hypotheses of a project proposal A project proposal for a PhD is similar to a business plan. It includes a description of the project, how the project will be conducted, the goals of the project and a budget. The results and hypotheses section describes what will happen if the project succeeds or fails. 5. Bibliography of a project proposal A common mistake many students make when writing a proposal for their PhD program is not giving enough evidence about the proposed research. This usually occurs because the student does not have an organized list of sources that are going to be cited in the proposal. You can find detailed steps provided in this video on our website with the research proposal template. I leave the link to that in the caption of the video, below. If you find this video useful, we appreciate it if you share it with your friends or colleagues. Give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more of the content related to PhD, postdoc and study abroad, subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.